solved problems based on load curve and load duration curve. Solved problem 2. A generating station of 1 megawatt supplied a region which has the following demands. So, from midnight to 5 am, it is 100 kilowatt, and 5 am to 6 pm, no load, 6 pm to 7 pm, 800 kilowatt, 7 pm to 9 pm, 900 kilowatt, and 9 pm to midnight, it is 400 kilowatt. So, neglect transmission line losses and find the following. So, first one is plot the daily load curve and load duration curve. Second one, find the load factor. Third one, the reserve capacity. Fourth one, plant capacity factor. And fifth one, plant use factor. And sixth one, the hours that the plant has been off. And the sixth one, utilization factor. So, we will find one by one. Solution. When the transmission line losses are neglected, the generation is equal to the load. The generated power is equal to the demand. So, that is the condition in the lossless transmission line. Installed capacity is 1 megawatt, that is 1000 kilowatt. So, the maximum load, that is maximum demand, is equal to 900 kilowatt that we can understand from the given table. The first one plot the daily load curve and load duration curve. So, from the given table, you can plot the load curve like this. So, the maximum value is 900 kilowatt here. So, you can take a scale in the y axis up to 900 and in the x axis, the time represents one day, midnight to midnight. So, 0 to 24 hours. So, from midnight to 5 am, it is 100 kilowatt. So, 0 to 5, it is 100 kilowatt. Then, 5 to 6 pm, there is no load, so 0 and 6 pm to 7 pm, 1 hour, 800 kilowatt. So, here it is 800 for 1 hour. Then, 7 to 9 pm, it is 900 kilowatt. Then, 9 pm to midnight, it is 400 kilowatt. So, this is how you need to plot the load curve. And second one, it is load duration curve. So, you can assemble this load variation in the descending order then it become a load duration curve. So, the, the descending order, the load it is 900, then 800, 400, then 100. So, first 900, how many hours? 2 hours, 900 kilowatt. Then 1 hour, it is 800 kilowatt. Then 400 kilowatt for 3 hours and the remaining 100 kilowatt for 5 hours. This is how you need to draw the load duration curve, the load in a descending order. Second one, find the load factor. So, load factor equal to average load divided by maximum demand, direct formula. And you need to find the average load. So, average load is uh, number of units generated in a day divided by number of hours in a day. In the given question, it is uh, the load is specified for a particular day. So, consider the load curve. So, average load equal to number of units generated in a day. So, number of units generated is first one is 0 to 5 hours. So, for 5 hours it is 100 kilowatt. So, 5 into 100. Then remaining from 5 hours to 18, there is no load. 13 hours, no load. 13 into 0 plus 1 hour 800 kilowatt. Then 2 hours 900 kilowatt. Then remaining 3 hours is 400 kilowatt. Substituting divided by 24, you will be getting the average load as. 179.16 kilowatt and maximum load from the load curve you can able to identify it is 900 kilowatt is your maximum load or maximum demand so simply divide this two you will be getting 0.199 that is 19.19 percentage that's your load factor and third one find the reserve capacity so, the reserve capacity equal to installed capacity minus maximum demand. So, installed capacity is 1 megawatt or 1000 kilowatt minus 900 kilowatt is maximum demand. So, you will be getting 100 kilowatt. And fourth one, find the plant capacity factor. So, plant capacity factor equal to average demand divided by installed capacity. So, average demand we found in the second step. 179.16 kilowatt divided by the installed capacity is 1000 kilowatt. So, you will be getting 17.91 as plant capacity factor. Fifth one, find the plant use factor. 
So plant use factor equal to actual energy produced in kilowatt hour divided by plant capacity into number of hours. So actual energy produced is a unit generated in a day. That we found in the second step 4300 kilowatt hour divided by plant capacity is 1000 kilowatt and the number of hours is 11 hours. So you can see the graph out of 24 hours only during 11 hours the load is consumed. So you, you need to substitute 11 hours here. So the plant use factor, the plant is used for only 11 hours. So it is 0 0.3909 or 39.09 percentage. Sixth one, find the number of hours the plant is in off condition. So from the previous case itself, you can able to identify so out of 24 hours, 11 hours the plant is in used. Remaining 13 hours, plant is in off condition. Next one, find the utilization factor. So utilization factor equal to maximum demand divided by installed capacity. So maximum demand is 900 kilowatt divided by 1000 kilowatt that gives you 90 percentage.